Next question is from KJSC13. I'm interested in working in the fitness field. I had planned to change careers, but I recently had a child. I'm nervous to gamble on a new career path in my current situation, but I'm very passionate about fitness. Is it possible to start it as a side hustle to safely test the waters? Or am I stuck until I grow a pair and jump in with both feet? (laughs) (laughs) Well, so I have two thoughts on this. Uh, One, I understand your position with with, uh, having a child. You know, when we started... Mind pump. I was a, a, in a different position than when I had started uh, other businesses. You know, when I opened my wellness studio, I was I think 23 years old. Um, you know, I didn't have any kids, um, and so the way I would do things is I would go all in because, in my opinion, you don't know if something can work unless you give it your best. Mm-hmm. You know, if you give it half your best and it doesn't work, is it because it wasn't meant to be, or is it because you weren't able to give it? your full attention. And so I would always give my full attention. But then I had kids, uh, you know, two children and a mortgage and all these other responsibilities. And we started Mind Pump and it was different. It was different for me because now I was responsible for other people to, and I didn't want to take such a big risk and potentially harm, you know, people that are dependent on me. And so we did kind of have to do it uh, on the side. So it is possible to t- test the waters as a side hustle but you're not going to get nearly the performance you would get or nearly the the answers that you're looking for unless you jump uh, all the way in. And so I don't know what the right answer is for you. I don't know your whole financial situation. I don't know if you have savings that'll carry you for, you know, X amount of months while you're figuring things out. I don't know those things. So it's really it's a tough thing, uh, a tough decision. Now, if you're somebody and you're like in your 20s, like, hey, I just you know graduated college and I don't have any kids. I'm not married and I'm still living at, my, living at my parents' house. My advice would be go all in. You have nothing to lose. Go for it all the way. But because you have a child, um, it's a little bit more. Uh, it's a little more nuanced. I would still caution that person. Uh, I, I'm glad you shared that story about you with Mind Pump because it's true. I mean, Mind Pump really did start like a side hustle. Um, it was a passion project. Um, we weren't focused on. We needed to make money at all. It was. Uh, something that we all felt passionate about and, and wanted to test and see, you know, can we do this? So absolutely, you can do that. The reason why I would caution you, and I would even caution the young kid who doesn't have kids and has all the time, it's a weird fucking time for our industry. Yeah, it's it's a weird time for us. I mean, we uh, to, it's very uncertain. We we have lots of conversations uh, off mic about the direction of this company and trying to understand and figure out what exactly is going to unfold in the next 12 months and what is the space going to look like i mean we they're already doing surveys on people that are saying that you know 25 plus percent of them will never return to a gym that's a big chunk of people so the landscape is definitely changing it's it's changed in uh our two decades that we've been involved in it. I mean, we look at us now. We were brick and mortar, you know, owning either facilities or managing and running them and all one-on-one with clients. Like, we don't do any of that anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's it's it, it's definitely evolved in our time, and I think we are in the middle of it evolving again. And so I, I caution anybody who is thinking about moving into this space without really thinking about, like, where and how you, how you want. I, I do think... Uh, and following, our, I think there's value in this. Like I, I get asked this by a lot of trainers that are right now that if you are not investing in uh, written content or virtual content, regardless if you want to be an in-person trainer or run a franchise studio, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, we live in this this digital virtual streaming world now. Uh, there's a ton of value in starting to a- a- acquire real estate in in all these different mediums right now, regardless of what part of the space that you want to belong in, I think that is a must. I think that mm-hmm. is something that if you're consi- – and you can do that on the side while you're doing other things. That, that to me, uh, it, it, when I think of the things that – have made mind pump really successful or that why we have continued to have success. A lot of it is not the stuff that you listen to on the podcast. You listen to the podcast, you enjoy the show. You maybe you identify with one of us. You like that. Or we present really good information. Probably Justin. That's yeah, probably yeah. Justin that there's love a, you guys. There's a reason of course, why you keep tuning into the podcast, but the podcast is, is just one part of this business 
the the other stuff that we don't talk about is the amount of of work that goes into all the digital assets that we have, all the written content that's out there. That's really what that's the that's the engine of this this beast. And so those are things that you you definitely should invest your time in if you're considering going in this. But you know, proceed with caution because it's a weird time even for us. I know. I mean, I really didn't have like anywhere to go with this question based off of what you just described. It's so strange the landscape now, and it's it's ever changing. Uh, and to see how companies right now are trying to pivot and adjust, and like every gym has to have an online component now. That is like a new standard that didn't exist before all this. And so it's not the same old formula isn't going to apply. Like I just go to a gym, I'm going to learn, I'm going to get all these clients. Like that whole thing, you have to just kind of reassess like what that's going to look like. And I do think though, there's obviously there's going to be a space for all this and like an opportunity in the health and fitness space is just going to look a bit different. So maybe being patient to see what kind of those opportunities pop up, like if it's for a tech company that's now promoting, uh, you, you know, virtual trainers and they provide a platform for you to speak and start acquiring clients virtually, uh, that might make sense. Uh, and they might be able to sort of like provide a turnkey option for that. Really the best thing for you to do right now is to get educated as much as possible. Uh, you know, try to do these online certifications like a CPPS or like one of these that, uh, you know, we definitely put, uh, I mean, we, we, we definitely like love what they're doing with that, uh, you know, FRC, something like that. Just, just try to kind of really understand the environment uh, you're dealing with right now. Yeah, it's. Um, but I will say this: look, uh, the de- although the fitness landscape is changing, the demand for help in yeah. health and fitness it's not going to go away. Is growing. Um, I just read something this morning. No, it's just how it's delivered. Right, and I just read this morning: twelve percent of Americans, and this is based off of blood tests, uh, you know, looking at blood markers and waist circumference. Okay, so based off those numbers, they estimate that about twelve percent of Americans have good metabolic health, 12%. Wow. So that leaves 88% terrible. of the country um, is in dire need of a fitness professional's services, a good fitness professional services. Here's the other thing that I noticed as a trainer, right? Uh, when I, towards the end of my career, after I'd been training people for a long time, you know, my, my personal training rates back then were, you know, anywhere between 80 to $120 an hour. So it wasn't cheap, right? People would hire me, and then they'd pay me every month for years, okay? I'm talking, you know, some clients I had for 15 years paying me this, you know, $85, $100 an hour rate. Now, these are smart people. These are successful people. They always found so much value in what I was able to provide to them that I probably became one of the largest expenses in their life aside from their mortgage Think about that for a second. That's the power that fitness and health can provide people when delivered properly. So, and I'm going to talk about the current landscape, and a lot of this is going to be my prediction because it's still up in the air. But I predict the at home workout market and the virtual fitness market is only going to, it was already exploding. It's going to continue to explode. I don't think the demand is going to go down at all. I think we're going to see an increased demand for virtual fitness or for fitness for children as schools continue to be, you know, out of service. Oh, absolutely. As, and as they start to reduce their funds for PE and physical fitness, and now we're starting to see children being affected by poor health, more and more parents are pulling their funds together. I know this. I was just in a phone call yep. uh, last night with a group of parents, mm-hmm. and we're talking about what we're going to do with our kids because California schools aren't in. And I'm like, hey, do you guys, would you guys like a fitness component yeah. for Physical the Physical education. Yeah. And they're like, absolutely. Do you know any good trainers? We would love to pull our money together and pay them. Right. So you got five parents willing to pay a trainer you know, $100 an hour to take their kids through I love some the, kind of I a workout. I love that space right now. Oh, it's amazing. So, and you look, you just had a child. I guarantee you, I know this already. I already know this before and probably still now, but I knew trainers, moms who just had babies who then serviced the new mom uh, market in mm-hmm, fitness. Mm-hmm. And they would all take their babies together and meet at the park or whatever and do- Stroller work- workouts. Yes. And all that stuff. Strides. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Huge. So th- this market, it, we're saying caution because pay attention, watch, you know, try and be smart about it. But this fitness yeah. and health is not going anywhere. The demand is only growing. And if you look at the health of the modern world, 
and how it's declining, uh, Western medicine has no answers. All of the answers lie in the fitness and health space. We are the ones that hold the answers to the chronic health problems that are plaguing us today. It's not the doctors. It's not the hospitals. There's no drugs. There's no medicines. You need to build a resilient body. That's it right there, 100%. 